Hey, what's going on guys? It's King Touch Pro and welcome back to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to do the Logan Paul slash Jake Paul slash uh, music video effect, the glitchy effect. Now, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, it's this like effect right here that I got from the music video, of course, where the background is really glitchy with different RGB colors. Also, there's also like a screen capture or like a still image of the actual, uh, you know, Jake Paul's crew or Logan Paul's crew. And uh, it's pretty cool. And this is my twist on it. So let me go and push play so you guys can see the original version of it and the after version of Jake Paul. So you can see that this is my little twist with the video. I couldn't do it exactly like they did it in his music video because they had to use After Effects and all that stuff. And I only want to use Final Cut Pro 10 for this tutorial without having to download unnecessary files, right? And I know this is not the best way of doing it. There's many other ways of doing it, but this is what I found to be the easiest way of doing it. So, all right, guys. So once you have your video in the... A timeline as you can see you want to go ahead and go to the video and select like a part where you want it to start whatever the video is uh, actually go to the beginning okay and add a keyframe so I'm gonna go ahead and click on the plus icon in the scale op all option in the transform window and then from here I'm gonna go ahead and go two frames over to the right and just scale this up until you can't see the black bars anymore assuming you don't have a letterbox or assuming you do depending on whatever it is so it's going to look something like this very, very quick. I'm going to go ahead and mute this for now, as you can see. And then from here, once we're at the two frames, once it's full like this, we're going to go ahead and create a freeze frame, whatever is here. So go to the edit, go to the add freeze frame, and this will go ahead and add a long freeze frame for some reason. But go ahead and just make this smaller so you can see it in your timeline. All right, so right here is where I want it to cut. So I'm going to go back to the blade tool and cut this. Uh, and then from here, we have the still image. Just drag that right on top and then drag this to the to the part where it ends. And then from here, what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and add the stock video that we had. So I'm going to go ahead and just paste this because I already had it. So I'm going to drag this behind this right here. So on the top video right here, which is pretty much our still image, we're going to go ahead and add a mask. So to do that, all you have to do is go on to the effects browser and just type in a mask, search for the draw mask and drag that right on top. And then from here, it's going to say to click to add a control point. So this is where you want to go ahead and select whatever your subject is, whether it's a dog, a person, a car, whatever it is. In this case, it's uh, Logan Paul and his crew. So what you want to go ahead and do is just take your time and go over the people. And you can also zoom in onto the clip here and using this little square. And if you click and drag, this will create smooth curved lines, as you can see. And if you hold down Alt or Option and you click on one of the handles here and you move it up, this will allow you to change the direction of it. So what you want to go ahead and do is just play around with this until you get a, a pretty good, decent job of selecting the people only and not anything else. It doesn't really matter what you use. You can always invert it. But just do that and I'll come back to you guys once I'm finished. All right, guys, so once you are on your last point here and you go ahead and complete the circle, you're going to have like this really cool kind of RGB look because we have the VHS tape glitch video behind or below this actual clip here or the freeze frame. And from here, what you want to go ahead and do is just uh, click off of it if you can or just click off of it in the timeline. So now we have this. It's very, very rough. And for some reason, we still have this going on here. I don't know why. Here is where we want it to start. There we go. So now we have this. So once you guys go ahead and use the uh, the two frames over, right? You want to go ahead and cut that piece and then drag everything else to the right. So this is just the piece that we're going to be working with. And then from here, you're pretty much done. If you go back and uh, we're going to go ahead and add an actual glitch to this as well. So we're going to go back to the effects, go to the stylize and go to the bad TV. That's going to give you this really cool glitchy effect. Drag that to the video right here because that's the video that's below it. And then from here, you want to go ahead and just play around with this. I did this to like 58. I did TV static. 
and you can change the blend mode if you want and change the roll. I didn't change the roll, I just kept it how it is. But once we're finished, this is what it will look like in the end. So it's very similar, not exact, but you guys kind of get the idea of the main principle of how to do this effect. So if you found this video helpful in any way, be sure to leave a like, comment down what you guys want to see next, and I'll catch you guys on my next video. Peace out, take care, and enjoy your day.